Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Maria Angelique alongside Brianna Vesley. Coming up in today's show, the class of 2024 photo is tomorrow, the Pep Club Cornhole Tournament is tomorrow after school, and reporter Andrew Hance talks to one of our cross-country runners about the season. All this and more on your WCA TTV News. A reminder to the forensic team that the bus to the speech festival at Derry will leave at 3.15 and should arrive back here between 6.30 and 6.45. If you have any questions, reach out to Dr. Baum. Have you ever wondered what a 3D printer can do and how to use one? Then come to the library today for a training. Mrs. Mamro will be teaching any interested student during both blocks. Sign up in Flex Time Manager and if you have any questions, please see Mrs. Mamro. Pep Club will be hosting its second annual cornhole tournament on Thursday, October 12th after school, beginning at 315 in the main gym. The cost is $5 per person. You will need to sign up with a partner. Sign-ups are now through October 12th during GL time in the Commons area. All proceeds will be donated to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. There will be food and drink provided for students who are participating, and the winners will receive a prize. Attention seniors! The 2024 class picture will be taken on October 12th on Rossi Field. Seniors should report to Rossi Field at 9 a.m. using the ramp, not the bleachers. Please leave all backpacks on the track and you will be directed where to go once on the field. Please wear black. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Sophia Bolova for your three-day forecast. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we're looking at a high of 62 with a low of 42, along with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, temperatures will range from a high of 64 to a low of 48 with rain. Thursday, expect a high of 66 and a low of 51 with partly cloudy skies. That's the three-day forecast. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Sophia. The following colleges will be in the Commons area during GL time. If you need more information, please stop by the guidance office. An admissions representative from Penn West University, which includes the California, Edinburgh, and Clarion campuses, will be here today at 1045 for an instant decision day. Assistance with your application, a fee waiver, and a decision will all happen in one day. If interested in attending, please see Mrs. Kuhn in the guidance office. Join the Letterman's Club Google Classroom. The code is M-D-W-M-U-J-N. Representatives for the United States Military Academy at West Point, Naval Academy, Air Force Academy, Coast Guard Academy, and the Merchant Marine Academy will be hosting a Military Service Academy night for students interested in attending one of our nation's service academies on Thursday, October 19th at 5.30 p.m. at Robert Morris University. The program will include presentations from Academy Liaison Officers and a detailed explanation of the Congressional nomination process. Service Academy liaisons, along with ROTC advisors, will also be available to answer questions from Academy Night attendees. See Mrs. Kuhn if you have any questions. There will be a financial aid night for parents on Wednesday, October 18th in the CSC from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Seniors are encouraged to share this information with their parents. Underclass Makeup Picture Day is Tuesday, October 17th. Passes will be distributed. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Butler or Mr. Marker. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Dalton King with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Late Robe? Today is Wednesday, October 11th, and the special of the day is a double cheeseburger with tasty tater tots and brilliant broccoli. Tomorrow's special is fiesta chicken quesadilla with tortilla chips with mild salsa and sweet yellow corn. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Dalton. Dr. Antolik will be hosting a meeting about the next trip to Europe in 2025. This trip is open to all students who will be, who will be in grades 9 through 11 in 2025. There will be an informational meeting tonight from 5.30 to 6.30 in the Senior High CSC. Please come with your parents or guardians to find out more about this opportunity to visit Spain and France. Costs, itinerary, and expectations will be discussed. Start saving now for this great opportunity. The annual Girls in Engineering event at Westinghouse Waltz Mill Training Facility will take place on Tuesday, November 14th from 8.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. Students in grades 10 through 12 who are interested in attending can contact Mrs. Yetter. Please sign up by October 12th. Spots are very limited. 
Students in grades 9 through 12 interested in the arts can attend Arts Exploration Day at St. Vincent College on Friday, November 3rd from 9 to 1.30. Activities include an art gallery tour, voice and music, letterpress printing, an acting workshop, and a preview of their fall musical. Please contact Mrs. Yetter for a permission slip by October 20th to attend. We go to Marley Hudspath for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. Last night, the girls' volleyball team defeated Franklin Regional three sets to zero. The field hockey team fell to Penn Trafford two to one, and the boys' soccer team tied the program record for season wins with 11, with their three to two win over Gateway. Today, the cross country teams travel to Westmoreland Community Co College to the WCCA meet at three o'clock. Reporter Andrew Hans had the chance to sit down with Charlie Hees to learn more about the boys' cross country team. Hey, Wildcat fans. Today, I'm here with Charlie Hess from the cross country team. Thanks for joining us, Charlie. How did you get involved with cross country and what made you choose that sport over others? I just really liked running and it seemed like it fit. Can you describe the physical and mental challenges as a cross country member? Yeah, there's a lot of running to it. Um, slow, fast, it's gonna, sometimes it will hurt your body and you, your mind just has to stay strong through it and push through. Thank you. What does a typical training week look for, look like for you and your teammates? Uh, six days a week, usually Sunday off or Saturday, Saturday off, Sunday on. Um, anywhere from 25 to 35 miles with speed work, long, really long runs, and then hill works. How do you approach setbacks such as like bad race results or slow times? Learn from them, review it, and see what I can do better. And can you describe any memorable moments you have with the team? Um, probably the overnight trip, since that was really fun with the bus ride down over to Ohio. Uh, good luck with the rest of your season, Charlie, and thank you for joining us. Yep. Thanks, Andrew. Also tonight, the girls' soccer team hosts the Penn Trafford Warriors on Rossi Field at 7 p.m. We'll be right back after this hype video Savannah Repack made for the girls' soccer team. That's all for local sports, now here's Michael Vito with the national sports. Good morning Wildcats. Last night the Penguins suffered an embarrassing 4-2 loss at the hands of the Chicago Blackhawks who finished with 26 wins in 82 games last year and had the number one overall pick in the past NHL entry draft. The only real bright spots of the game were goals from Brian Rust and Captain Sidney Crosby. The Pens will be back in action on Friday night against Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. Also last night, two MLB postseason games took place with the Astros and Rangers routing their opponents. The Astros' 9-1 win gives them a 2-1 edge in the best of five, and the Rangers' 7-1 victory advances them to the American League Championship Series as they swept the Baltimore Orioles 3-0 in the series. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Michael. Are you considering girls wrestling? Feel free to stop by on any Tuesday or Thursday to check it out. Practices are from 3 to 5 and start in the bag room, P204. Any questions may be directed to Mrs. Fry. Less than a month remains to submit your photos for the Wildcat Store 2024 Calendar Photo Contest. Entries can be submitted at wildcatstore.glsd.us. Winners will be awarded a cash prize. Let's highlight the beauty and intrigue of our local area with another year of great photos. The submission deadline is October, November 1st. We will be back after this message. The Greater the Chobe Drama Club would like to invite you to attend this year's fall play, Father the Bride. This hilarious comedy is about a father who is overwhelmed by all the turmoil, not to mention finances, caused by his daughter's out-of-control wedding. Wedding planners, florists, dressmakers, and pretty much everyone and everything that goes with a wedding invade his home as the wedding plans get bigger and more outrageous by the day. Ticket prices are $12 for adults and $10 for students, and tickets will be sold at the door. We hope to see you there! Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latro. Go Wildcats!